Hi, this is Nilton from craftofprogramming.com and in this video tutorial of IntelliJ IDEA 2019.1 we are going to cover search and replace. Let's get started. Hi, so before we get started I'd just like to ask you if you're new here please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. So let's start by exploring the ways that uh, you can do search and replace in IntelliJ. So I basically categorize search and replace in IntelliJ by basic and advanced. And basic for me, it's uh, what I mean by basic is the type of search that is not, um, it's just basically a text search where um, the editor, you know, is not using any of the in intelligence or, or, or awareness that this is actually um, you know, a, um, a source code of a type and that, you know, there is a structure here, there are fields that are part of a class, there are methods and there are um, inner classes. So all of these symbols that I'm searching, they have obviously a semantic meaning within this uh, source code. And the type of search that are aware or explore that I call advanced, the ones that don't, that, that just use a basic um, text uh, search that you see on any basic um, editor, I, would call, I call them basic. So, for example, um, you know, source ID, let's search this. So, obviously, the simple thing you can do in Windows Control F, and then you just do, you know, you search forward by typing F3 in Windows, or you do Shift F3 and you go back. And, um, you know, obviously, I can filter um, things here by, for example, notice here that it's matching, you know, not just a word and I can click, you know, Alt O and now it's matching um, just words. I can do case and so on and so forth. Another thing I can do is basically do a Control R and now, uh, you know, that's basically a replace. Okay. So this is basically a very basic search. Another thing related to this that I can do is I can, I can do Control Sh Find in Path. So here, um, it basically extends the scope of the search. So uh, I'm going beyond the um, file and now I'm searching in path. And obviously here I can also, I continue to do the match case and the words and so on. I can use a file mask to um, restrict the, you know, the scope, you know, files matching only that um, mask. Another thing I can do here is basically search in, in just in the modules or scope, for instance, I can say I just want to search, um, you know, for example, production files. I don't want to search uh, text files, uh, test fi uh, files. So that's basically what you can do. Um, and obviously, you know, as you go up and down, IntelliJ is showing you here a preview of the use of um, of these uh, symbols. Okay. And related to finding path, you can do uh, replacing path. So just do um, Control Shift R in Windows, and um, and again, it's the same thing, but you can put a replace uh, string to replace. There is here um, the history of um, searches that um, I've done in the past. So before, you can quickly select them, and also it also supports multi-line search here if you want to do it. So that's basically very basic ways of searching. Um, you know, now a, a more advanced search is one that, like I said, IntelliJ is aware of the fact that what I am searching is a field of a class. So there are basically two ways to do it. Uh, one, you can, you can get a simple pop-up, which is Control uh, alt f 7 and then you have the usages in the, of this field in the project and libraries. And if I type again, then the usages are restricted to project files only. So this is, for example, if you want, you don't want to search for third party libraries, you just want the scope to be your um, project files. So in here, as you can see, uh, you can see the write access and read access. And, um, you know, so if you want to just see the um, right access, 
use filter like that uh, you know it's basically if you mouse over here you can see how uh, you can uh, you know restrict things but it's basically uh, control R and control read okay so that's how you restrict things <coughs> so yeah, I'm just showing read access and I'm showing all the access something related to this that you, and obviously you know I can go and navigate to that particular place where it's highlighted there uh, something else that you can do in uh, is um, again in Windows Alt F7 and you have this nice window of similar to that pop-up and here you can um, you know again by doing control alt up and down you can basically uh, navigate through the uh, usages um, and just like on the other um, you know pop-up you can filter things by you know just read access or write access okay so here I'm, I'm restricting the uh, usages to just the places where this field is being written or if I want to restrict um, just where it's being read then again I can just go up and down and see where the value is being um, the field is being read um, and there are other filters here that you can use I mean you can group things um, here you can just show this doesn't apply but this is if you want to um, see uh, imports and so on okay so moving on another thing that you can do is let's pick a symbol here so there is this feature IntelliJ called search everywhere and search everywhere basically search literally everywhere so it's searching for this symbol everywhere and as you can see it's matching classes I mean other hopefully you can see but this is grouped by classes uh, files and symbols which are essentially you know method names or um, variable names or symbol or, or field names and even actions are matched here okay so lastly I would like to show you the most advanced uh, search that IntelliJ supports uh, which is called search structurally and you basically access it by in, for example in the find action you just type search uh, structurally and um, this st uh, way to search is basically looking for patterns um, in the code that match uh, a, a template so one nice and obviously you can restrict the scope by project module directory and scope and or also by file type and you come here to the existing templates and you select a um, template that you want so the way the templates are, are, are organized or categorized is by language and then um, um, you know user defined so for example and within uh, Java they are categorized by class based comments expressions generics and so on you have all these categories and if you expand those then you see the actual template um, definition that matches that so if I were to for example search for um, you know all usages um, all linear classes that are using this project I will select this template and I would find an IntelliJ and then you know I have this preview window here and then I can just go from you know result to result to find all the inner um, you know types um, within the project okay so that's basically using you know an off-the-shelf and existing template one nice thing that IntelliJ supports is the ability for you to define your own user templates and one simple way to do that is to basically work off of an existing one and just customize it for example uh, there is this template here try statement without resources and catch blocks that I can use and again I'll just look for the usage of that and um, you know these are the usages as you can see I can go back to the results and um, you know go over them and um, 
one nice thing that I can do then is to customize this template for my own needs. So within this uh, template, as you can see, when I mouse over each of these variables, um, it, the variables here have filters. And I can then edit filters to customize further the template. For, insta for instance, the uh, catch statement as a filter, um, you know, which is the count filter, but I can specify a text filter or a type filter or a reference or script. For example, in the exception type here, I can add a, a filter which could be, you know, a reference where I would type, for example, um, you know, instance of a particular, uh, you know, exception type, for instance. The reason why this um, uh, template uh, matches, um, you know, try um, blocks without catch is because of the count of this exception a variable is set to the count filter is set to zero. Um, so if I, for example, I mean, a simple thing you can do here, obviously, is edit the filter and just change to, for example, one to unlimited. And if you search find now, then you should be able to find blocks, um, you know, try catch blocks again. Okay. So um, one thing that you can do is obviously modify these templates um, and create what's called a user-defined template. So for example, one very useful template that you can use is search for, um, you know, swallowed exceptions. That is, um, try catch blocks where the uh, catch block doesn't have, uh, it's empty, which is obviously a bad thing to do. So let's search this code base and see. So let's modify this template, save it as a user-defined template and use it on the structural search and see if we can find in this large code base such cases. So um, one thing, so first thing we do here is then the filter, um, let's leave it one to infinity and here let's remove this catch statement because that's basically what we're trying to find. Let's save this as a um, our wonderful template. Let's just call it empty um, catch blocks or exception exception empty catch block and um, let's keep the scope and let's search let's close this first and let's search and see what we can find okay so let's collapse and it looks like we have here 23 matches for um, swallowed exceptions uh, let's see so we have one here another one here wonderful another one here okay so um, you can obviously, you know, do much more uh, customizations, um, you know, just play with it again, come here, go to existing templates and pick anything that you find useful and customize it to your own needs. And then, you know, the exception comes here, the user defined exception is going to be here in this, uh, under this tab, under that category. So lastly, one thing that you can do is you can convert these into a uh, replace. So, um, you know, what we could do here for these would be to, um, you know, catch these cases and, um, you know, I don't know, just do, um, you know, a print stack trace or logging or what have you. So for, and then they give you the result and you could just replace this. Or you could log or, or what have you, okay? So this concludes the uh, IntelliJ um, basic and advanced search. And um, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.